Hey guys, Richard Holder here. If you're an LS guy, your first question is always, what camshaft do I use? But second only to that is what cylinder head do I use? Now there's a ton of good aftermarket stuff out there, but for guys on a the budget, they want to find out what the best factory head is. To find out, we set up a test. We included four different factory heads, starting with the 706-53 truck head. We compared that to the 241 LS1 head, the 317 six liter truck head, and the 799 head, which is basically the equivalent of a 243 used on the LS2 and LS6. So what head's best for your 5.3? Let's find out. Hey guys, you should know, we did more than just dyno test these heads. We also measured the airflow, port volumes, chamber volumes, and valve sizes. So when you're taking a look at the power output, Make sure to compare that to the airflow and other specs. That way you can come up with theories of your own. But hey, enough talk. Let's get to that test motor. The normal high mileage 5.3 liter, Lenati bootlegger cam, comp valve spring upgrade, and fast LSXRT intake. Before we check out the specs, here are the flow numbers, starting with the intake. We'll finish up with the exhaust. Here are the test results with the 706 heads. 706 heads produced impressive power. Next up, the 317 heads. The drop in compression definitely hurt power. The 241s were better than the 317s, but still couldn't match those 706 heads. The 706 beat the 241s. Even the 799s were no match for the 706 heads. The 799s got close on the top end. Okay, we finished our testing, but what did we learn? Well, the first thing we learned is the GM engineers who designed that 5.3 truck head did a pretty good job. But does that mean that truck head is better than all the other factory heads on all applications? Probably not. We think the extra airflow offered by the bigger heads would eventually come into play. We just don't know at what power level. Now we have run a previous test on the 706 versus 317 heads. And in both cases, normally aspirated and turbocharged, the extra compression offered by that 706 head made more power. And that was at the 700 horsepower level, so obviously it's not there. But let's face it, if you've got any of those heads, you've got a cam, springs, and turbo, you're already out winning races. I'm Richard Holder, that's all the time I've got. Hey, we want to thank the guys at Summit Racing for helping us out with the testing. Make sure to like and share and do all that great stuff so I can keep testing.